The first day of June brings us in stuffed slate of 15 games under the lights, so let's jump right in. Friday scores Yankees 4, Orioles 1, Box score, Cubs 7, Mets 4, Box score, Tigers 5, Blue Jays 2, Box score, Braves 4, Nationals 0, Box score, Astros 7, Red Sox 3, Box score, Twins 7, Indians 4, Box score, White Sox 8, Brewers 3. Box score, Pirates 4, Cardinals 0, Box score, Athletics 16, Royals 0, Box score, Dodgers 11, Rockies 8, Box score, Diamondbacks 9, Marlins 1, Box score, Angels 6, Rangers 0, Box score, Mariners 4, Rays 3 and 13, Box score, Red 7, Padres 2, Box score, Giants 4, Phil 0, Box score, Sale Cole fails to live up to hype on paper, Chris Sale taking on Jarrett Cole seemed like a prime candidate to be a pitcher's duel. That was not the case, however. The pair combined to allow 7 runs on 11 hits and 2 walks over 13 innings. They did manage 13 strikeouts but neither had a truly dominant outing. By virtue of pitching deeper into the game and coming up with a win, on a team and individual level, Cole walked away the victor. Perhaps the two will meet again down the road, like, say, in the postseason, and we'll get the ace off we so desired, full T brilliant and win Braves and Nationals continued their pivotal weekend series on Friday, with the Braves entering a half game up over their division foes. Thanks to Mike Fultonevich, the Braves lead is now a little bigger. Fultonevich threw his first career shutout, holding the Nationals to two hits and a walk. All the while, he fanned 11 batters and generated 12 whiffs on 106 pitches. Foltinevich got 6 of those swings and misses on his slider, while also getting another 6 called strikes with the pitch. Foltinevich lowered his era to 2.22 with the masterful performance, safe to say, if he keeps this up he's going to be in consideration for a spot in the All-Star game. The Mets reach a new low remember the Mets 11-1 start to the season? That feels longer ago than it was. Nikki Callaway's club went 10-18 in May, and with a loss to the Mighty Cubs on Friday night they've fallen below .500 for the first time in 2018, they're already lugging around a negative 20-run differential prior to their 3-run defeat, the Mets held a 2-0 lead entering the 7th. Alas, Zach Wheeler allowed a pair of base runners before departing. Paul Seawall then allowed three runs to cross the plate, giving the Cubs the lead. Seawald would allow a fourth run before his night ended. The offense, meanwhile, was only able to tally two runs against Tyler Chatwood, who permitted eight base runners in five-plus frames. The Mets did rally later on, scoring a couple more, but it wasn't enough. In matters related, the Mets have been hit pretty hard by injuries thus far, Jay Bruce exited Friday's game, and their active roster includes the likes of Adrian Gonzalez, Jose Bautista, Jose Reyes, and Jason Vargas. Throw in the competitive nature of the division, and it's looking like 2018 could shape up be a disappointing one for the Mets, hot start and everything, quick hits live team updates a Twitter list by Dane Perry.